Hey guys, Henry Akins here um, at Dynamics Martial Arts in West LA, uh, my gym. So yesterday I posted a video um, of a guy getting in a fight on a basketball court and um, it was kind of a, a demonstration of a sport BJJ in more of a self-defense situation. And I critiqued the video and um, I made some, some comments. And um, so there were a lot of people out there that said, oh God, the guy did great, he did fine, you know, he didn't get hurt which is absolutely correct. He didn't get hurt. So actually for the guys that um, said that he did great, he did fine, this video is not for you. This video is not for you. Um, this video is for those people that wanted to learn from the situation and saw like, wow, that was kind of scary. What could he have done better to improve? For me, what I'm always looking for in situations is how we can learn from any situation. I think from every situation there's a possibility to learn from. Um, either what you did right or what you did wrong, okay? And so um, what we saw in the beginning of that uh, fight situation was the guy charged him, came in on him after he swung, and he fell backwards to the ground. He fell on his back, okay? And so what I want to show now is my friend here, Rich, is I already talked about the importance of putting your hands up in a fight. In case he does throw a punch, my hands are close to my face to protect me. So I already shared that video with you guys this morning. Um, now what we're gonna talk about is being prepared in case there's any type of engagement, okay? So if I put my hands up here and my weight is evenly distributed in my foot, if he approaches me, if he charges into me, go just walk in, what, go. What you're gonna see is I'm gonna fall off balance. There's a good chance he's gonna push me backwards if I'm just standing flat footed. So if he walks into me and I have my hands up, his weight, his, his energy, his momentum will knock me backwards. So what I want you guys to do is try that first and see how you feel with someone walking into you. Then what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to stand on your toes, okay? So what happens is I'm gonna lift my heels off the ground just a tiny bit, almost like someone is, uh, I wanna create enough space for someone to be able to slide a piece of paper underneath my feet. So now what you'll see is as he approaches me, if, I, if my weight's on my toes, I'm able to deal with him. Even when he's coming forward, because my weight is on my toes, I'm not gonna be knocked backwards. So it's very, very subtle. It's very, very difficult to see. But if I have too much weight on my heels against a charging opponent, I'm gonna be knocked backwards. If I have my weight on my toes, when he puts his weight into me, without me even having to to uh, lean forward or push him back, my energy is transferred to the front. And so now I don't have to fall to my back. I'm ready, one, if this situation, if I need to move forward, if I need to clinch. And two, if my opponent engages, if he charges me, I'm ready to deal with that pressure. Okay. So I'm gonna be sharing some more videos with you guys throughout the week to help everyone out there that um, saw that situation and we're thinking what could have been done differently or, or what were some of the mistakes he made. Um, and like I said before in my post, it, no way is this to criticize uh, the individual. Um, all I saw from that were, wow, there was a lot of opportunities for us as BJJ practitioners to learn. Um, you know, Even though I feel my jujitsu is okay, I'm always still trying to learn and improve and see what I can do better. So that's, the, that's it. I uh, hope this helps you guys and uh, I'll send another video to you guys soon.